and welcome back to Pop and Sodas. I'm Derek, and today we are trying out Hey Song Sarsaparilla. So first, I want to thank my friends Ryan and Marcy for picking this soda up for me while they were out. I appreciate you. Hey Song was created in 1925, started as a family business in Taiwan by Chang Wen Chi and his six cousins. Now, they started by buying a Japanese beverage company and producing products under the brands of Fuji and Ramune, which we've done here on the show before. You know, I like Ramune sodas. And they launched Haesong as a brand in 1931, Haesong sodas in 1931, but not the sarsaparilla that you see here until 1950. So they were around for 25 years before they started making this sarsaparilla. And they make a lot of different drinks now from sodas and non-carbonated drinks and things like that. They even have their own dedicated museum in Taiwan that they opened in 1996. Now their name changed several times. From 1925 onward, there were multiple name changes until they settled on the Haesong Corporation in 1981. So there you go. This is a Taiwan company. Some interesting things about the can is if you're you know, here in the United States, the can is a little different. The design is a little different. It is 11.16 fluid ounces, not 12 ounces. Why? Because it is 330 milliliters because, you know, metric system and things like that. So anyway, here we go. We've got Haesong Sarsaparilla. Let's go ahead and pop this soda. So it's got a nice sarsaparilla smell to it. You can see that it's a little bit kind of frothy and creamy compared to other pours. It's got a very kind of caramelly color to it. It's not as dark as some sarsaparillas. It certainly doesn't look as dark as, say, like a root beer or a cola, right? It's a little more of a caramel color there, but it smells really nice. Anyway, here we go. Haesong sarsaparilla. Cheers. Very interesting. That has a really interesting flavor. So it's very sweet. It is a sweet soda. It's got a little bit of syrupiness to it. There's a little bit of sourness to it up front that turns into a bitterness as it kind of lingers and goes on. So there's a bit of a bitter aftertaste to it. But it's got that real kind of standard sarsaparilla flavor. It's there. It's bold. It is the kind of star of the show. There's no doubt that this is a sarsaparilla. There's no question. It is a little bit brighter and crisper than sarsaparillas tend to be. This is a tough one to really narrow down. I think I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because it's not bad. I like it. I will drink this one, but I don't think I would go out and seek it out again. I think I've had other sarsaparillas that I would definitely prefer to drink between kind of the sourness and the bitterness. It's just not as pleasant as a sarsaparilla can be, so it's a bit of a turnoff for me, but it's not terrible by any means. So Haesong Sarsaparilla out of Taiwan, 6 out of 10. Thank you again, Ryan and Marcy, for the soda. Truly appreciate you. Thank you all for watching. I'm Derek. This is Poppin' Sodas, and we'll catch you next time.